Oh, nice, Rico. It was at this moment that he knew he fed up. Somebody's bag fell out. <laughs> you hear the song? Oh. We was rocking it in. Oh. Are we ready for this beach life? Let's do yes, let's nice. do it. I was born for this beach life. Not too bad. Let's see if our stuff falls out. <laughs> What's up, this is your boy Simon, man. Welcome to the vlog. You understand me? What's up, guys? Beautiful hotel, beautiful hotel, beautiful resort, beautiful resort. Oh, very nice here, guys. This is very beautiful. What's up, man? Done? Done? <laughs> Hey guys, what's this over here? Couch? Huh? Yeah, those are nice. Right there, yeah. I got the extra room up there, that top one. Oh, you got your radio? Uh, Rico's. Oh, okay. They said this one's for diving, right? This pool is for diving? To teach you? This part. Yeah, that's tight. So it goes deep then. Yeah, I think 15 feet. 15? Look who we got in the house. What's up, the buses? Nico, it's amazing. 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 <laughs> What's up, man? How are you? I'm good, man. I'm glad you Everything's could, uh, good. Yeah. It's, it's, it's nice to be here. Yeah, very nice. Birthday boy. Birthday boy. You out here tanning? Something like that. They're in the sun, the sun being blocked a little bit. Yeah. We're going to the beach, y'all, and we're gonna go on the rack, and we're gonna do some flips. They might bite me. Okay. Yeah. 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 Okay. And the dog's trying to feel what up, guys. And share, and share. What up, you guys? We're here in the freaking raft with Bella. And we're about to jump. But I saw something like jumping. Oh. Whoop, whoop, whoop. 
<laughs> I'm, so run. I'm staying in the middle so you go. Oh, did you see that again? I see my face. Like, Holy crap, that's cool. Mm -hmm. I wish I had a dog. Oh my god. Ay, ay, ay. Wow. All right, guys, we just got to the room. This is our room. It's me and, La me and Lamont. You know what I'm saying? And we got the whole setup here. It's our 70 inch, 70 inch TV. 70 inch TV right here. Here's the bathroom. I'll show you guys the bathroom. Here's the bathroom. We got two sinks. Got a toilet from uh, Tokyo. Wow. It, wipes your, it wipes your booty hole and everything. And then we got the shower right here. And this is the rest of the room. And then, you know, we're going to have coffee in the morning out here. And then right in a little bit, we're going to meet up with everybody else. You understand me? <laughs> All right, so we're going to meet up with everybody else. But we just wanted to, you know, show you where we at. See us. This is where we at though. Let's go meet everybody else. So we do a mod taking pictures for his Instagram. <laughs> this is our walkway down to the pool area. There they go. Look, they're throwing the football over there. This is the little dining table area for lunches and dinner. We got the famous Minda in the building. Okay. Oh shoot, they got the cornhole out. Oh, it's too lost. It's, it's too lost, girl. Hang on. Hey. So much. There's my guy. There goes Mr. Helter Brand. DJ Motor Club in the house. Oh, shoot. Is this JJ Helter Brand? What's up, baby? Just working on my uh, my quarterback game. Oh, shit. Go, go, Riggs. Oh, that Beckham one time. Odell Beckham? Yeah. Odell Beckham is not a quarterback. That's what I mean. I'm receiving right oh, now. Okay, I'm right, right. I was I'm about to say, on. bro. Oh, nice Rico. Oh, definitely not Odell. Nope. <laughs> definitely not Odell. Come on, Dak. Yeah, there we go. Come Let's on. go, Rico. Tell him. Hey, yeah. Yeah. 355. 355. 355. What? Dak. Oh. Nice, Charlie Ward. Hey, good catch, Charlie Ward. Boy, Charlie Ward. <laughs> well, hide your trophy one. Oh. Say hi to the people, man. Oh, <laughs> oh he trying to show off his abs. You seen that? MJ's mother, guys, Michelle. Oh, the famous Hazel. She's back on it. All right now. For the chew. For the chew. For the you chew. Two, one. Oh. I don't know how to swim. <laughs> cheers, cheers. This is a pretty nice area, guys. It's okay. It was at this moment that he knew he fed up. <laughs> Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! I thought you was gonna jump on my beard! Hold on, 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 that was nice. That was no. That was a nice. That was a no. <laughs> <laughs> ah, look at you, dog. <laughs> he can't swim. No, I was trying to put my head up. Oh. I the glass. <laughs> 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 oh, okay, Jaden. Uh oh, here we go, here we go, look. Here we go. <laughs> Oh, my God. 
Taking time out of your weekend and being here with me, it's, it means a lot. It's a nice, it's a, it's a nice, Saul, it's a nice. I thought it was only right that we take a moment to really give Saul his flowers. Really appreciate him for who he is and what he's done for our families, uh, our friendships, and things like that. For me personally, I'll get the ball rolling. Just want to share a favorite verse of mine that I think really applies to Saul. Um, Ephesians 2.10, just uh, God's masterpieces, just the, the great things that he's instilled in Saul and the great things that he has for him in his future. You know, our prayer for our family is just continued happiness and joy in your life. Um, we're super thankful for what you've done. I know for me personally, you know, you're a big brother I didn't have. I was always the oldest. But you're somebody who looked out for me from day one, you know, took care of me, made sure I was good. And you do the same with my wife, our kids, and we just really appreciate everything you've done for us. And, you know, we wish you all the best, man. We're here for you. We love you. Yeah, nice. 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 Rico's next. Rico's next. Rico's next. Okay, Rico. Okay, Rico. Everyone, uh, uh, Saul is amazing. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. <laughs> thank you uh, for putting this together. Jack, yes, you know, did a lot yes, of work. Thank yes, you. Yes, yes. Is that you know, you? I know. So, yeah. Yeah, so thank you. I know it's a lot of work. Uh, so I appreciate that. I thank everybody for coming. You know, Saul, all you guys, family. But to be honest, Saul is like, he's for real like my little brother. You know what I mean? And for whatever reason it is, it we're just connected at the hip. And we we just really have, we just look out for each other, you know, as real families uh, do. And we've had a lot of battles with each other and, and for each other. It was all for the, for the name of, of growth and just bettering each other's lives. He's helped us out tremendously with just being a part of our family in our kids' lives and in Monica's life and of course my life. Monica and Saul are like brother and sister. They're like twins almost. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> but uh, I mean, like I said, me and Saul have been through so much and it was all worth it to see how far he's come in life from when we first met to now says a, a, a lot about his character. So, um, I want to say happy birthday, Saul. We love you, right kids? Yes, yes. Yes. You know what I'm saying? We love you, happy birthday. And uh, thank you guys for coming. Right? We love you guys too. We love you guys too. So yeah, Saul has been starting this, uh, giving you the flowers of everybody's birthday. So obviously you guys know that when I first came out here, Saul was like one of the first guys I met who kind of took me under his wing. and show me the ropes and introduce me to everyone here pretty much. With that, you know, I appreciate you for everything you've done for me in my life. Uh, you a big brother to me, man. You a big brother to me, man. You know, you hold me accountable. You, uh, you know, in the bubble, you were calling me after every game and, you know, giving me pointers and just trying to make me the best basketball player I can be. And, uh, you know, you're the big brother I never had. And, uh, you know, to more memories and growth and, you know, just being better people on our journey in life. And, uh, like I said, man, 
yeah. Like you told me, it all comes from the heart and just wanting the best for each other. And, and I know you got my back and uh, you know you know that I always have yours. Uh, I'm known, I know it's all ever since I moved here. And we've always been cool. We've known each other through, you know, people and hanging out and stuff like that. But uh, riding bikes and stuff really got us closer. He's actually made me better by riding with him, even though it's dangerous at times. <laughs> I'm a much better rider. Thank you for pushing me. No, but like uh, like Joe and everybody said, uh, Saul is kind of like the little big brother I never had. I was always the big brother. But he's a little big, annoying brother. And he's always right. And sometimes he's not, but he's right. You know what I'm saying? And, you know what I mean? It's my boy. I let him go. You know what I'm saying? And I'm just glad to be here and experience this with everybody and have you in my life, man. I see the good things that you're doing and how you affected my life and everybody here, man. I'm just proud of you and what you're doing and where you've come and where you're at. And you see all these people who love you, including myself, man. I'm just proud of you, dog. Uh, for, every, for everything, bro. I love you, dog. Cheers, cheers. Um, hi, guys. Hey, Jared. Hey. 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 Um, you know, uh, I have uh, uh, JJ introduced me to Saul the first time. So what I can say is, uh, Saul is really a nice guy. You know, the first time I met him, he didn't know me, of course. He he actually gave me a bag. <laughs> he gave me his bag uh, because uh, we were about to ride to go to uh, Wake Park. So um, I told myself, you know, this guy. Um, it's not what do you call it in English, but that one. So, oh uh, yeah, he's not selfish, you know. He's not most. Um, he he's there for you, and I see him. Yeah, I see him uh, taking care of everyone. I see him sacrificing himself for 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 the welfare of his fellow brothers. That's why, um, of course, I'm very thankful. Uh, of course, to all to everyone here because. You know. Seriously, this is serious. Yeah, it's it's very hard to find the true people. I like that. I like that. Just to. Cut everything off, you know. Saul's a great person. I've I've met a lot of people, and I know uh, who has character and who, who has a uh, heart. So happy birthday, man! Yeah, I'm not really good at speeches, but uh, me and Saul started as rivals, as you guys know. Uh, Saul kind of got like a bad reputation in the PBA, and he's like when you once you get to know him, it's the total opposite of, of what. Uh, of what you hear before and um i was telling you and joe this like your friendship reminds me of like the way me and mark are and uh that's why i, I think i our connection grew from the time we went to barack yeah i think we really got close and really bonded at that time and um and i started hanging out more with with you guys and the family, and I see, and I get, you know, je not jealous, but I, I, it's kind of like, um, I wish I had that, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Because I don't really have family here in the Philippines. I set my baby here a little bit. But yeah, man, um, I just, I'm just, I, I really have fun when, I'm, when I hang out with you guys. Even, you know, when we just go to McKinley Hill and kick it, it's really good times and, you know, um, it's really, uh, for sure, uh, uh, going to be a friendship for a long time, for sure. Happy birthday, man. Love you, bro. Um, one thing I can say just about Saul, man, he's just such a genuine, kind-hearted person. Not just full of just knowledge, but full of wisdom. He always keeps his home open to me, he always invites me over. And for me, it's just a privilege to be here. I know I wasn't able to spend as much time as I want to due to the circumstances and everything that's going on. But looking up to Saul as a mentor and as a big brother, going through the same thing that I struggled with, like, you know, losing my pops. You know, it really touched my heart to see somebody that 
was able to go and deal with adversity and really just thrive, really thrive in the moment. To be able to stand on his own two feet, to be able to take care of his family, to take care of everybody here and to build his home. And like I said, I feel like I don't even deserve to be here right now just talking, but it's an honor and a privilege to know such a great soul like Saul and you know I just want to honor him and I just want the best for him. I pray for nothing but great health bro and I appreciate everything that you are. Especially the man words can't even explain um, how much you have influenced not just me but everybody here. And the life that you touch man it goes on for generations bro. And I just want to say I'm proud of you and I'm happy for you and I want to wish you a happy birthday bro. <laughs> tip of, of, uh, of giving people their flowers and I and I didn't expect it for you guys to do it for me uh, that's not why I was doing it so I, I do appreciate that but just I just been realizing I've been on this tip because life is just very precious it's easy to get caught up in our careers uh, money and business and, and stuff like that and fail to see what really matters the most in our bar of time in this life we don't have much. We don't get to take with us money and, and anything else. All we really have is our relationships and our our memories that we create with everybody that we love. For me, it's been a long journey to be here. Um, like I'm, I'm really truly grateful. A lot of people say this. It's so cliche, but I, I genuinely do feel it. To to see 37 is a, is a miracle. From what I've been through in my life just as a kid growing up to where I am now, like to see 37 for me is a, is, a, is a miracle. I feel like I've grown a lot in my life and I don't credit myself for that. I credit you guys, the people in my circle. Um, Joe knows uh, how much you know. I look up to him and how much he's impacted me and, and being understanding and slow to, you know, the anger and, and, and things that I've learned from him and just, you know, Gabe and, and the father that you guys are. I never had a brother ever in my life. You know, I was raised by all women. So uh, to have actual brothers that I see as blood means everything to me. And, and, and uh, I cherish that. And, and who I am, I'm loyal to a fault. Um, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a very loyal person. I'll always be here for you guys. So I, I love you all. Thank you again. Yeah. <laughs> 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 
Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Gee, speech mo ang pinakamaganda. Pinakamalupet ang kayo. Monica, do you say any there? You didn't say speech. You wanna say right here, just in the camera. Just in the camera. Damn, she went away real quick.